Welcome to FreeCAD new session. In this session we will model this sheet metal part in FreeCAD with the help of a sheet metal workbench. So let's start. So here I have activated my part design workbench and I will create a new file. And to model this part we require a body. So we will create our body and then we will create our sketch. So here I have a set my view to orthographic now we will read the dimensions so as we see our sheet metal part so we can see that this parts having the four flanges one two three and four so for this flange we will first create a rectangle and then we will make these four cutouts and then we will make these four flanges and then we will adapt our rest of the features so this will be our modeling approach so first I will select this XY plane and uh, I will say sketch and now I will go to the tree view hide my origin plane I will select the rectangle tool and now I will make my rectangle symmetric so I will select this point this point and this center one and now I will give my dimensions so it is a 200 and height is 50 and width is 90 so height we will achieve in the flange so we will give width 90 so I will select this line and give my dimension 90 so now our sketch is fully constrained so I will come out of the sketch now here we have made our sketch in a part design now we will move to the sheet metal workbench now we will select our sketch and click on this make base wall so here you can see that our first feature has been created now if we see our drawing so we can see that our sheet metal is a 2 mm thickness now we will assign the 2 mm thickness to our this base feature so for this I will click on my base band and we will go to the data and data here you will get option of a thickness so I will give here the thickness 2 so now it is 2 mm thickness now we will make the four flanges of 50 mm before that we will adapt this cutout so I will select on this face and switch to the part design and create a sketch on this face now we require these four edges so we will convert these edges into the sketch entities so I will click on this icon external geometry and I will project all the four edges which are required and now I will create four rectangles so I will select rectangle tools and first I will draw rough four rectangles and now we will read the dimension of our cut so here if you see it is a 200 and this is a 120 so 200 minus 120 is a 80 so this will be the 40 and here it will be the 40 so we will give our dimensions so this one will be the 40 
so I give here dimension 40 and this line and this line will be equal so I will select these two lines and give it an equal constraint same way I will select this one and this one also and give the equal constraint so here we have got the dimension 40 now from the side view if we see it is a 90 and it is a 50 length of this flange is 50 so 50 minus uh, 90 minus 50 is 40 so from here to here it will be 20 and from here to here it will be 20 so I will make all this equal first say equal and now I will give my dimension 20 now we have made the four cuts now we will come out of the sketch close it and go to the tree view select a sketch and go for the cut and here say through all or you can select the up to face which is on the bottom side say ok now I switch to the isometric view so here we have adapted the four cutouts now here is the radius R5 so we will give our radius so I will select all the four edges 1 2 and 2 on the other side press the control key to select all the four edges now I will select the fillet option and here I will give my fillet 5 and I will say ok now we have made this face and we have made the cutout then we have adapted the fillets now we will make the four flanges which is of the length of a 50 so to make the flanges we will again switch to the sheet metal workbench and I will select this edge this edge by pressing the control key select this one and select this one and here is the option of a flange so you can see that flange has been made now we will customize it so you can see that flange has been made but in opposite directions so click on the bend and here you will get options to reverse the flange so here is the option of invert which is false make it true so you can see that flange has been reversed as per our requirement now we will make our flange length so length is here 10 so we will make it 50 50 and this radius our sheet metal thickness is a 2 mm and internal radius is a R2 so we will give here radius R2 so you can see that we have uh, made these four flanges now we will make this cutout here at this locations and which is a uh, touching with our center line and this cut depth is at 28.29 I will select this face and again switch to the part design workbench and I will create on this face so here 
I will draw a rectangle first and then I will convert this edge into the sketch entity so I will select it and project it now I will select this point and this line and give point to line constraint similarly this point and this origin point and I will give the vertical constraint this point and this point I will give horizontal constraint now we will find the cut depth so cut depth is uh, here is 26 so I will give my dimension 26 so I will select this line and give my dimension 26 and cut depth is a uh, 28.29 so I will close my sketch and I will go to the tree view select my sketch and click on the cut and here I will give my dimension 28.29 say ok now here is also radius R5 so I will select my edges by pressing the control key and give my radius R5 so here is a R5 radius has been adapted now we will make our flange which is a 36 in length and height is 18 which we can see here 36 and 18 I will select this edge and switch to the sheet metal and create a flange so you can see that uh, flange tool is not active because here is a measuring tool has been active so close it and then select on the edge create the flange so you can see that flange has been made but in opposite directions so I will invert its directions so invert false make it true length I want 18 I will give here 18 radius is 1 mm I will make it 2 now we will measure the length of our flange whether we have got uh, this 36 length or not so I will switch to the part design and here I will select the measuring tool so this is the 40 so we will give the gap of a 2 mm on both the side so I will select my bent and here I will see the option of a gap which is here gap 1 and gap 2 so gap 1 is for the left hand side gap 2 for the right hand side so both the side I will give 2 mm now we will again cross check it so I will go for measuring and I will select these two edges so this is a 36 which is as per our requirement I will close it now if you see this flange having the radius of R5 so I will select this two edge and click on the fillet and I will give here radius of 5 so you can see that it has been adapted now we have a slot on this flange so we will select this face and create the sketch and we will project this edge this one this one and this one and we will click on this slot tool and create a slot and we will give the dimensions so before giving the dimensions we will make a construction line so for this I will select the line tool and 
I will draw a line and make it construction by selecting the line and clicking on this construction geometry now our total length is a 36 so I will so our total length is so we will draw a construction line we will select line tool make it vertical and then select this line and click on this construction geometry I will select these two points and give it a dimension of 18 to make it at a center and now this center line will help us to const constrain this slot so slot to slot center is a 10 mm so I will give 10 and from here to here it will be 5 5 now from the top of the edge slot position is 8 mm so I will select point and give it a vertical dimension of uh, 8 mm and radius r 3.5 so you can see that slot has been constrained now I will switch to the isometric view come out of the sketch go to my tree view select the sketch and click on this cut icon say ok so we have successfully adapted the slot on this flange now we will give the radius on our all these four flanges of R5 which we can see here it is a typical radius so for this I will select this edge this edge this edge this one and click on this fillet and you R5 switch to the isometric we have adapted all the features in our part now we will do the flat pattern of our part to the flat patterns I will select on this my last flange and I will click on here unfold and I will keep all the settings as default so you can see that the flat pattern has been created and if we go in our tree so we can see that here is a unfold solid and here is an sketch so now if we click on this unfold solid so we can see that uh, it is a not aligned with our sketch so for this I will click on the transform and then I will rotate it by 90 degree and I will say ok now you can see that my flattened solid is aligned with my sketch and you can see that this flange will be the flattened with like this and this face will be flattened like this we can exactly imagine the unfolded projections in this model now here is a solid and 2d sketch I can export this sketch into the 2d dxf if I go to the export options and if I select here dxf I can select this dxf to export my sketch into the dxf format for the sheet metal cutting and bending and I can also export this solid as a step file so this is all about this sessions how to model sheet metal part in a free cat thank you for watching